Welcome back, everyone. Now, the Granny Flat was once a boxy backyard add-on that increased the value of a property but really wasn't much to look at in the style stakes. But Australia's competitive real estate market has owners under pressure to up the ante. Now, the latest trend in garden additions are called pods. And Adelaide property expert Greg Moulton joins us again with more on these portable people pleasers. Greg, uh, good to see you, mate. So what are pods and, and how are people using them? G'day, David. Sonia, thank you for having us. Pods, um, they're just a very versatile, small addition to the property. Um, look, we've got some fantastic examples which we'll be able to show you on the way through. But for mine, it's just an addition to the home. There we go, straight away, straight into one there. But as you can see, absolutely unique, uh, just fabulous use of space. Uh, many uses, some people are using them as studies, some are using them as yoga studios, music studios, you name it. But just a fantastic addition to the property. So I guess adding a point of difference, David. I love this concept, I have to say. It kind of reminds me of what it's, uh, like, a, like a little thing you would get married in back in the olden days, but now you've got this. A pumpkin. <laughs> I guess what you're thinking of. Now, I mean, there are basic pods, aren't there, Greg? And then they go all the way up to, to luxurious pods. Mm. Um, so what's on offer? What's on offer? There's a whole heap of different ones you've just seen, Sonia. Um, there's a mob called Harwin that actually designed these. There's one there. Absolutely fantastic all the way through. They're a soundproof, squad. they're weatherproof. Uh, you can have them purpose-built to whatever you like, Sonia. So, you know, depending on what your backyard's like or the area that you've got, some of these are even designed so that you can put them on your roof or your, um, or your patio. Amazing. So they're oh. very, very versatile, but uh, just fantastic uses all the way through. Specific needs for custom builds, probably the best way of putting it. Is that like a wardrobe pod? You've I'll got everything. It. Some of them have uh, showers, <laughs> they've got double beds in them, they've got absolutely everything, every luxury I you think can think amazing. of. I think it's amazing. Sonia would like to know how much these expensive dog houses cost. <laughs> these expensive dog houses, you can get them for $500 a week rent, oh, David. Right. So you can actually rent them. Um, or it's around about a $26,000 entry price. But for some of the really good ones, and you'll see a coconut looking one come up in a bit, they're up around $40,000. So wires. if you think about it and you compare you it go. to either a really cool caravan or an extension, uh, fantastic value. So, so, so that coconut pod, that's fairly extreme. I mean, people have made some pretty impressive ones, haven't they, from around the world? They have. Uh, we've got one called the Blob. There you go. The Interesting Blob. Interesting name. Honeycomb all the way through. Uh, the roof actually lifts off and forms a, a porch. So you can sit under that, oh, David, is. with a cold like beer egg. and a barbie, mate. Um, that's that one there. There you go. Giant there's your, there's your, little, uh, your little portio. Um, showers inside. You can sleep it. It's just, Shower you know, inside. absolute luxury all the way through. Do you know what it is? It's like if you added wheels to it, and you towed it around Australia. <laughs> you could call it a caravan. No, so uh, look, I absolutely, you could do whatever you like. You'd probably throw it on your roof and away you go. But um, better than a caravan, I reckon, Sonia. Yeah. We'll crack it open and have a giant omelette. Greg, good to see you, buddy. It's fun as always. Don't go anywhere. Mornings will be back with more pods and stuff after this.